Stop ignoring me! This is an actor announcement. The show's over, so you're not technically an actor anymore. How dare you, you rotting pear. I will stop being an actress when the earth stops spinning on Kabbala Monster's fingernail. The only thing that stops... That is Jane Krakowski as the hysterically self-absorbed actress Jenna Maroney on 30 Rock, which ran for seven seasons on NBC. That memorable role on the classic show created by Tina Fey earned Jane four Emmy nominations. Krakowski and Fey teamed up again on the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, where Jane was nominated for another Emmy playing another hilarious narcissist, this time a socialite named Jacqueline White. The Tony Award winner has been working steadily on TV, in the movies, and on Broadway since she was a teenager breaking out with a life-changing Golden Globe-nominated performance on Ally McBeal. Jane and I got together on a New York City rooftop the other day for a Sunday sit-down. Hi, Willie. Hi, Jane. How are you? Oh, it's so I'm good, good to see you. It's so great to see you unmasked. In the flesh, in My person. hero unmasked. <laughs> Jane Krakowski was born to perform. The New Jersey native made her Broadway debut at just 18 years old. Krakowski was still a senior in high school when she skated onto the stage in Starlight Express. And by then, she already was an Emmy-nominated soap opera star and the unforgettable Cousin Vicky in the classic 1983 movie, Vacation. I'm going steady, and I French kiss. So everybody does that. Yeah, but Daddy says I'm the best at it. So what was that like to have a lot of it really high-profile stuff happening at that age while you were still in high school? Exhilarating, I guess. When I look back, it doesn't seem like it was fast or like a lot coming. Acting is in Krakowski's blood. Her parents were active members of their local theater, where young Jane often tagged along. From the time I was in a crib, I was backstage at this community theater and I've had many of those shows I've come to be in on Broadway and those moments are the moments where I think wow how did this even happen like yeah. how did I see my dad and my mom be in a show in community theater and now I'm opening it on Broadway those days are never lost on me because uh, I'm so thankful to the support and creativity that my parents infused into our lives mm. as a child and still loving it now like this many years later, I've, I've been in this. I've been in this business a long time. <laughs> Can you believe it? So there are a bunch of great roles that you're associated with on TV. Did you feel your life changing? People know who you are. Okay. Oh, you're from Allen McField. I sum this up as sort of kind of what the whole experience kind of felt like. We flew out coach and we flew back first class. There you go. <laughs> Warm, fresh cookies and all, which was a first for me. What do you hear about the most, Ally McBeal? I'm easy. I know. 30 Rock, of course. Yeah. Oh, don't be so dramatic. That's my thing. Kimmy Schmidt. If I can see New Jersey, that means it can see me. Just Jacqueline's an incredible character. That's very sweet. And you've said you've said you enjoy finding the humor in monsters. I don't know if they're necessarily all monsters, but I think I love finding a sense of humor in flaws in people. And they could be flaws in all of us, whether we come off that way or not. But I love heightening them to a place of humor. You'll need to be here by 6 every morning to get Buckley up for school. Then get me up at 10, but don't wake me up. What I like about the characters that I play, even though they're flawed, I have radical compassion for them all. And I think that is something I'm so happy I infuse in my characters. And now... I want to infuse that everywhere in life. I think we're at a time in life where we all should have radical compassion for each other and for everyone we meet on a day-to-day -day basis. Amen. <laughs> Especially now we feel that, don't we? I do more than ever. Krakowski is busier than ever with a new season of the Apple TV Plus series Dickinson, a modern take on the life of Emily Dickinson in which she plays the poet's mother. I feel like each year the show finessed its way into something special and beautiful. It's been really interesting because the show lives on many levels. It could be completely funny and then at the next minute be completely heartfelt and, and beautiful and, and poignant. Someone who loves you, someone worthy of you, shouldn't make you feel sick. That's not what love is. And then we're twerking to a rap song. Oh, oh, and a 
got the mix right. Jane plays to her theater roots in another series called Schmigadoon, a new musical parody based on classic Broadway shows. So where do you fit into that story as the Countess? I play uh, Countess von Blurken, who is very reminiscent of the Baroness in The Sound of Music. Yes. Should you be driving and singing? There was Tex who traded stocks. I loved that it is a, a loving parody of musical theater, but also has such a witty, humorous sensibility tacked onto it. Because it's sort of like... You'll like this show whether you like musicals or hate musicals right. because both sides are being represented. <laughs> For all of her success on screen, Krakowski is most at home on stage. With three Tony nominations and a win in 2003 for her performance in Nine. When they call your name, does it all come back? The parents taking you to the theater in the crib, that whole road that got you to that stage? When they called my name, I went blank. Jane Krakowski, nine, the music. Like, I think I had a, a moment of an out of body experience. My speech is awful. Please don't play it on the show. We're um, going to play it in its entirety now. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's so not good. Oh my God, thank you so, so much. But I think, generally speaking, you are not a jaded person. You don't take all these things in your life and career for granted. Not a step, not a minute of it. I'm so thankful. And as a mom of a 10 year old, I hope my son can find what he loves to do, and I can nurture it and say yes and go and go so he can find that for himself too. Because it's, it's a, you have a life well lived series, don't you? Yeah. It's a life well lived when you can get to do what you love to do for, for your whole life. Mm. And you're doing it. Oh. I mean, <laughs> all right, and all cut. right, thanks so much, guys. This oh, was God. great, this was great. <laughs> and no we've got our life. out. You do have a life well lived, don't you? Yes. I know. I mean, she's pulling in the branding from the show. And oh, see right. Ya. If there was a mic, I'd drop it. But I did actually drop it. That the was. Mic. That was a it was unconventional a... mic drop. <laughs> well, if you haven't noticed. A lav drop. I'm not exactly conventional. <laughs> A noble, if ill-conceived, attempt at a mid-interview mic drop. Jane's two series, Dickinson and Schmigadoon, both now are streaming on Apple TV+. A special thanks to our friends at Gallo Green at the McKittrick Hotel in New York for that beautiful setting. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit-Down podcast to hear the full-length interview with Jane Krakowski. You don't want to miss this one. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.